T90AM or T90M, Object 188AM or 188M, Deep Modernization of the Main Battle Tank T90. T90AM has a new turret. The tank turret has a panoramic sight with calculation and identification of targets, a sight for a source of thermal radiation, sensors for firing conditions, identification equipment friend or foe, means of internal and external communications, a navigation system, as well as satellite and unmanned surveillance equipment, etc. The T-90AM is armed with an automatic loader and a modernized 2A46M5 cannon, as well as a remote-controlled 7.62mm machine gun with circular fire and a high-elevation angle UDP T-05BV1. The T-90AM is equipped with anti-projectile and anti-cumulative protection with 5 to 6 times greater efficiency than Soviet tanks. Protects the crew and equipment from the secondary flow of fragments of fire-resistant anti-fragmentation material such as Kevlar. Improved fire extinguishing system. Only the T-90AM has a system for detecting and countering projectiles that are approaching the tank. In the forced V92 S2F engine with a capacity of 1130 horsepower. New pump and nozzles, reinforced connecting rods and pins were installed, crankcase design was strengthened, casting quality was improved. In the production of the crankshaft, nitriding began to be used to increase corrosion resistance and the highest micro hardness. Improved air cleaner with increased resource. The system for protecting and alerting the crew in case of abnormal engine operation has been updated. The V92S2F engine starts at a minimum cold start temperature of 20 degrees C. The launch amplitude is in the range from minus 50 degree to plus 50 degree. The maximum operating altitude is up to 3000 meters above sea level. Engine weight, 1.07 tons. Specific power, 0.72 kilowatts per kg, 0.98 HP per kg. The exhaust system is located in the fender to reduce the temperature of the hull and the visibility of the tank for infrared guidance systems. The engine is made in a single unified unit with an automatic transmission. For the first time in a Russian main tank, steering wheel based control and an automatic gear shifting system, with the possibility of switching to manual, were used. Object 188M was comprehensively modernized, in almost all major systems of the tank.